Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Um, before we get started, I was supposed to show you the dry results from the last video. The round one got scraped. I can't lay my hands on the second one. I think it's downstairs still on the drying table and I'm too lazy to go get it. The third one happened to be sitting here on my kitchen counter. It's the orange one, which is what the one everyone liked the most, I think, in the comment section. Um, the first one is sold and this one's available. So if you'd like it, shoot me an email at waterfallacrylics at gmail.com as I got it stuck on my sweater. Um, what else? Normally I say this at the end of my videos, like please like, share and subscribe. And I let it go with that because I don't like to bug people, but I'm getting really close to 70,000 subscribers and that would be um, a great YouTube milestone to hit that by the end of the year. So if you checked me out before or you're new here and like what you see, please consider subscribing. Um, also, my buddy Mina Villegas from Mina Villegas Art is getting close to 50K and she's trying to hit that milestone before her 50th birthday. Shoot, I don't know if I'm supposed to say her age. <laughs> Sorry, Mina. I think I am. I, th I don't think it's a secret, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, today I'm trying to um, go bigger with my bloom. So I'm going to do a single bloom on a 16 inch square canvas and then start, you know, over time incrementally work my way up. I want to get up to like a 24 by 24 or, or a 30 inch square, like go big with those. Um, and that's a challenge. So good challenge to have for the new year. Let me get you down. Hey kids. So <laughs> I'm pretty much a squirrel today and, um, was decorating the house for the holidays and put up lights and get out the nutcrackers. We don't have a tree yet. It's a little too early. And while in the middle of doing all of that with boxes everywhere, I walked by my paint cart and I saw a pigment color, this one right here. This is this little piggy in Inferno. And I was like, oh, I got to paint right now <laughs> and use this color. So everything else has been put on hold. This is a old, uh, I had a previous bloom from like a year ago that never made it to the resin table. And that's how I know I don't like things. So I threw some white on it around the edges some old white it's kind of gray can you tell um to help cover it up and gonna go again and just spin out just a bloom been, been on a bloom kick um i should try to do a deconstructed bloom on a square canvas which i have a feeling would be quite challenging but for now i'm so enamored with this color i just want to use it and you're going to look at this color palette, I think, and be like, you're crazy. But I have a feeling it's going to turn out. So first up this is my usual favorite, Cornacridone Nickel Aza Gold. A video of mine came up on YouTube from over a year ago when I was using these same two colors together. <laughs> so I'm consistent. So a year ago, I was doing pretty much... These two colors together. This is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. This color's been kind of hard to get lately. It's been sold out everywhere. And if you're wondering why, it's because I have like four bottles. <laughs> so if you want to use it, come on over to my house and paint with me. Next up, we're going to use the Inferno, which makes me want to sing disco songs. And put some of that on top. And then I have another piggy, one of my all time favorite piggy colors. It's so hard, there's so many, but this right here is, with some bubbles, let me stir it up. This is Sangria. I'm gonna put on some Sangria. And then we're going to, let's do, let's do, I want some of this on the outside for sure, some more. Nasal gold. 
And now we covered up the uh, inferno. So now we got to add more of that right there in the middle. And we're going to use oxide black as a cell activator and blow this out. Hopefully have a little bit of negative space. I've got my doggy pool like wedged in the corner of my kitchen. We'll throw it on there and give this a spin. So fingers crossed for a good blowout. My husband called me and I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode in the middle of blowing this out. And I, I kind of lost the brightest color of all, which is, but I like parts of this. So I think I will just spin it out and see, um, because there's some cool bits and bobs. Like this part here that looks black isn't, it's, it's the uh, sangria on top of the black and purple, and it is stunning. I'm gonna stick my finger in this black right here, and I was trying to blow that so it was super, super thin, so that all the weight of the paint is around the middle, and that kind of stays. So let me move you down to the uh, doggy pole, and we'll spin this out. All right, that's not bad. A little off center, but it's only take a minute, and then we'll go back up to the counter. Oh, you gotta spin it more. You didn't even make it to the edges, girlfriend. Oh, there we go. And let me see where to stop it. Oh my goodness. That's super pretty. I think that's gonna be, that might be it right there. I'm gonna let the paint drip down the sides a second. Oops, stop spinning. And then uh, take this back up onto the countertop and we'll take, oh, I missed a spot. I'm gonna give it one more baby spin because I didn't even make it to the corner here or to the sides. 
I don't know. This should do the trick though. And that should do it. Try to touch it underneath. There we go. Oh yeah, super pretty. Fairly, fairly well balanced in the middle too. Um, yeah, let me move it, rearrange everything, get you up on the counter. All right, back up on the counter. I'm, I'm pretty dang happy with this. Pretty much the way it is. I think I am just gonna dork around with things like, see how this one looks like a really straight hard line? I think I'm just gonna take my skewer and just like maybe feather that out a little bit off. Soften it up a little bit. Maybe I gotta come around to the other side of my counter. Maybe I'm just gonna lay this in here and go under and kind of pull some of this outward a little bit and upward. Just to soften that up. Oh, it's making a really nice fine line. I love that. Take that all the way up. Anywhere else, maybe one more in here. And just kind of tug at it a little bit. Just so it doesn't have that straight line. There. I'm gonna break this guy up right here. Anything else? Honest to goodness, I don't think so. I'm really super happy with this. Um, lots of cool parts to look at. Let me get you guys down for a close up. I think I'm gonna make another one. So if you, if you see another video with these colors, well, it's because I still have a ton of paint left. <laughs> Um, and I, I normally don't get something on the first try. Uh, so yeah, pretty happy. Let me get you down. Actually, I'm just going to pop you off if I can. Oh, let me come down this way and get you in close. So like there is the middle section. Now, you know what? I think I do need to move it over to my other counter because my phone is blocking the light and you cannot see the sangria everywhere. And you guys definitely need to see that. Hold on one second. Okay, I moved it over to my other counter with better light. And I haven't decided on an orientation. This is just how it happened to land here. I just wanted to hold it up high so you guys can see it for a second. And then I'll come down on my favorite parts like this with the colors all blurry with the fine fine lines i love that whole section right there um super super pretty i love the white cells in this part here with the lacing super cool and it goes all the way up i like the little cells i got in the white area there there's the area i just sputzed with and the same thing with the color blending here. And now you can see the like the Syrah. Let me see if I can get that because it's all purpley there and not black. It's super, super pretty. Why does it look like this way? Yeah, I think this one, it'll be up to the uh, buyer's choice for sure and how this one gets hung because I think it can go pretty much any orientation. I kind of like the first one. So I am gonna do another one um, and use up another canvas. And I think what I'll do is post this video first and then paint the other one and then show you the dried results of both. I think I might use white cell activator in the next one. So we'll see which one we like better with the black or with the white. And I'll show the dried results at the end of that video. But for now, let me uh, flip around and say goodbye. Hey y'all, I'm back with the dry results of this piece after all because uh, it's just been a busy, busy week and I didn't have time to do the second version. And in the meantime, this one dried. So 
I don't think I'm going to do a twin with the white cell activator after all. Only because I'm looking around my house and I'm like, oh yeah, there's more orange. <laughs> so I think I want to pick different colors. Um, I I kind of like this one. It, it's just really grown on me. I like, uh, it's like masculine and feminine at the same time, if that makes any sense. I do like certain things like the little bit of um, pink showing in here. My favorite is all this stuff too, the wispies really cool and the shredding of the cells were already right here so so cool there's a lot of little fine lines everywhere i like this little bit with the white and yeah uh debating whether or not to resin it just gonna let it hang out for a couple more weeks um and see i don't know if it calls for it i think a coat of varnish will be fine and maybe get it framed uh yeah, let me know what you think. Let me flip around and say goodbye. Okay, you guys, that's it for me. I am over and out. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, it might be a few days until I get another video up. It is um, my birthday weekend as well, so it's going to take a couple days off. And actually, when you're a December baby, you end up spending your birthday decorating your house for Christmas. So that's luckily what I'll be doing. We're going to go out though too. So um, I'll see you guys in a few. Until then, please like, share, and subscribe. Help me get to 70K. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.